So, you want to know how to bevel something in Blender and give it a smooth, uh, a nice, a nice feeling edge. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to bevel an object or an edge very, very simply. We're going to use default cube here today, um, and I'm going to go hit, hit, hit tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode. I'm going to select uh, edge select mode down here. I'm going to right click this line right here. Let's say I want to make this edge a bit more smooth. And the way I would do that is by hitting Control B. And you can see right there that that bevels that edge perfectly. And if I want to, uh, if I want, if I'm going for a hard surface type of thing, I can just left click and then that will be our, uh, our new, our new edge. But if I wanted to actually make this smooth, I can go ahead and select that same edge again, Control B and then I can scroll my mouse wheel up to add segments. You can see how awesome this is. We can add as many segments as you want. You can add literally a billion segments, which uh, would be pretty computer intensive after, your, uh, after a while, but I can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and add a bunch of segments just like that. Give it a nice smooth edge. You can see we still got a, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of uh, stuff going on there. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I can go ahead and add in a subsurf modifier here. By going to the modifiers tab, I can add in a subdivision surface, and you can see this has completely changed our cube into a circle. I'm going to bump this up to four for view and four for render. I'm going to hit smooth shading on, maybe five for both of those. And if I hit tab, you can see we still have that default cube there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to edge select mode. You can see we still have our default cube. Uh, what I can do right now is I can go ahead and, and uh, double tap A to select everything and hit control B. And now if I were to bevel this, you can see we're getting that cube shape back again. If I were to go ahead and uh, and scroll this up as much as is possible um, and try and get that, that cube shape back, you can see we can actually do that. So we can get a, like, a, like a softer cube here, which is really nice. Maybe you're making something like a companion cube or something like that, and you would need a softer edged cube. Really, really easy way of doing things if I were to go ahead and get rid of that completely. We can just bevel specific edges. We can bevel all of the uh, top and bottom edges here, instead of the uh, the uh, the ed the side edges here, up and down wise. We can go ahead and bevel bevel all of those. Maybe get like a paper lantern type of thing going on, right? Maybe something like that. Or I can do the exact opposite, and I can make something that looks a bit more like a um, like a cylinder, which is really really cool. So that's a super easy way to learn how to bevel something. Right there, you can see we have so many different. Uh, options we can use, we can do. Um, it is really is a really nice tool. We can go ahead and do this as much as is possible for this edge, then for this edge as well. Maybe we want like a teardrop shape effect, and it's really really easy to do. I hope this quick tip helped you out in any kind of way. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.